if you can't see your whole screen, okay, there are three little dots down at the bottom of your screen, okay? And you can have an adult help you. You can click on that, okay? Um, actually, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in a little bit, but we have our mystery reader. Does anyone recognize or think that they know who our mystery reader? Um, Isaac, who do you think our mystery reader is today? Brody's. Oh, Brody's who? Sister. Brody's sister. So friends, we met Brody's sister yesterday. And uh, Brody, did you know that Hunter was going to be our mystery reader today? <laughs> that is so much fun. So friends, I think Hunter, Hunter, did you bring a couple of books to read? Um, I brought The Very Hungry Caterpillar. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite books, friends. Awesome. All right, well then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mute and I'm going to let Hunter go ahead and take over. Okay. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and popped out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through a nice green leaf, and after that, he left much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly! And that's it. That was my